Hello, I will give you a factual presentation about the Illuminati, and I will explain to you the different points of views of conspiracy theorists um, and where they go wrong. Okay, the Illuminati is basically, it comes from the ancient mystery schools, such as the Illuminates of Ra from ancient Egypt. Egypt had an empire before Babylon. Babylon came later. The Sumerians did not have an empire. They were a people who had a culture, who had a territory. It's a different story. Egypt's, Egyptians also had a people and a culture and territories and pre-dynastic kings, etc. Nubia goes back before Egypt and Nubia founded Egypt. The Illuminati are the people who shared the knowledge with the Europeans. And the Europeans started forming their own Greek secret societies. And it probably wasn't a bad thing at first. But then secret societies started controlling the world, the European ones. Okay, this is the explanation of the conspiracy theorists and where they go wrong. You have people like Ray Hagen and the neo Nazis and the Muslims, okay? So the first group we'll say is we'll say is the black Muslims slash black militants. They're right about a lot of things, except for the ones that blame the Jews. The Jews are a part of it, yes, like Rothschild, and there's there's plenty more. You know, just the Rothschild family alone is, puts a lot of Jews in the conspiracy. But people like the Rockefeller um, family, some of them might have Jewish heritage, but they're not Jews. Not everyone who has Jewish heritage is a Jew. Basically, the Vatican and the Rothschilds are the main players, and what they have in common is they were let into the secret society structure. In the Vatican's case, they were basically created by the secret society structure. In the Rothschild's case, they were bankers who needed it to um, do their banking. Before, before you had banks, you had money lenders. Uh, and they needed that to get into the game and to do it successfully and to not get their money taken away and they weren't allowed to be bankers at some points because they were Jews, etc. Anyway, then you have the feminists who go wrong because they usually don't go back to the ancient mystery schools like everyone else. They usually fall in the category of the Nazi movement and we go to them. They blame the Jews just like the blacks, so you see where they go wrong. Then you have the anarchists and the Satanists and the... Um, FBI agents, anarchists, they want to break down government, and, and they're, so they're, they have an agenda when they're looking at it. So when they look at the ancient mystery cults, they don't realize that they're, they're similar to those cults. They're a group of people that want to determine the fate of society and the form of government it has. No form of government is a form of government. Now, if you look at, well, in the sense of not to act, as, as much of an action as to act. Now, if you look at the um, Satanists, they blame religion, and sometimes they'll say religion stole from the mystery schools and they formed it. And um, where they go wrong is that the, their intention is to break down society for evil. And the way they present their facts, they'll be extra hard on the people they don't like and give them more credit, just like the people who are hard on the Jews. And that is basically the Illuminati presentation I have for you right now. And I would hope you understand that my point of view is superior for that reason. You go back at the Statue of Liberty or the Apollo 13 or the buildings, the, the Parliament buildings or the UN buildings that are shaped like ancient Babylonian buildings or the uh, obelisks, the Egyptian obelisks that are used. These are things that happened before Weishaupt in 1776, symbols that were used in Rome. The old Roman coin is where you see the Statue of Liberty. These are symbols from a time before the whites converted to Judaism in Spain and Germany, etc. You have to know history to understand this. And if it was the Jews, then why did the Romans and the Babylonians destroy the Jewish temples which they held so sacred to them? No, it's not the Jews. It's the secret societies that have always been there with the Jews and the Christians. They're the cults that started society. That's why they're called cultures. Cultures don't come from cults. And secret societies are most of the time the cults. They're the, they're the people like the pharaohs, etc. Thank you.